Remember in my standard Colossal video when I talked about losing my excitement for the card? Well, it partly came back when I remembered that Focus Sash exists in Expanded. Focus Sash, if you're familiar with the video games, it does exactly what you'd expect. If the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to has full HP and would be knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, that Pokemon is not knocked out and it has 10 HP remaining instead, and then just discard the card. Essentially, that means your Colossal VMAX is surviving two, at least two turns no matter what, though as I came to realize, it has 330 HP, so knocking it out in one shot isn't easy to begin with, so what's the point of Focus Sash, but I digress. So in, in Japan, Colossal VMAX is a great deck in Japan standard format, but that's because their standard format also includes the Ultra Prism to Lost Thunder year, whereas ours doesn't. So uh, I had to go to Expanded to play this deck. It plays the Mr. Mime, Pantomime, Jirachi Prism Star, Take a Knockout, Take an Extra Prize. So it plays that engine, so if you get really lucky, you can take three knockouts on a single prizer and win the game. That's probably never going to happen, but it is possible with this deck. And more of my excitement for Colossal VMAX comes from the fact that Shaman EX is getting banned and expanded. Yes, I mean, even with the resistance, it didn't really matter. Uh, you do 130 with Eruption Shot, and then my, with the resistance, it's 110, so it's not a big deal. But essentially, I was thinking, did any GX and Crobat V, the use of that is going to go way up. And did any GX and Crobat V are both weak to fighting. Colossal VMAX is obviously a fighting type. And in Expanded, you can use something like Strong Energy... It's the reverse of Stone Energy. Stone Energy reduces the damage by 20. Strong Energy and Expanded ups the damage by 20. So if you get two Strong Energy on this Colossal VMAX, you can knock out a Dedenny GX without even needing that Eruption Shot top card of your deck to be an Energy. And then obviously another one, and you'd have a Crobat V knockout. So, I mean, you look at the totals, some, some bad things have happened here. Essentially, with the Jirachi Prism combo and Focus Sash and all this other stuff, I thought Colossal VMAX would be unstoppable and expanded, but then I played it and I was completely wrong. Eruption Shot is just too inconsistent, even in expanded. I usually have to dig to make it work, and having enough bench space to use Jirachi is a huge chore. And originally, I had a bunch of special energy, so I did have the strong energy, four copies of that, and four stone energy, and capture energy, and the basic fighting energy. But then I cut it to a 2-7 because you have to have basic fighting energy attached for Martial Arts Dojo to work. I don't know. I have just built myself into a corner here with this deck. I have tried so many different builds. I have so many more ideas. Like, you know, ADP. ADP would be really good, I think. Because you only attack for a single energy. So you, let's say you go second. You put ADP into play with double dragon energy. You play Guzma and Hala. You use ADP's Alter Creation, and then you put put it back into your hand with AZ or Scoop Up, or Super Scoop Up, and then you just rock with Colossal VMAX the rest of the way, and you're doing an extra 30 damage, you're taking an extra prize, you cut out Jirachi, you cut out Mr. Mime, or maybe you keep them. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of ideas. Uh, you could go really hard on Max Potion and Acerola, and then just never go for a G-Max Boulder. There's just so many ideas. But I, I just got myself into a point where I said, I have to stop. I have to just build the deck, build a video, let you guys let me know what you think would work. Let you try it out. Let you iterate on it. So this is what I got. It's partially built on my crazy ideas and Japan's winning list. Let's see what happens. And even in Expanded, my luck is exactly the same. I started to Denny. Of course I do, but they don't have any Pokemon. So with the Psychic Typing... I would imagine that, oh, it, whoa, it's, so they got a DCE, they got Hypnotoxic. What am I facing? I, I can't tell you right, three scoop up now, are you kidding me? Hey, there's that. So, I, they're playing Shaman. Uh, come on, come on, we all, we all know what's happening with Shaman. I think I just have to, to Denny, all right, I can't to Denny, it's in the active. Okay, so I can get a Colossal V. Sure, I'm just going to Colossal V and Hope at this point. Maybe they'll end me. Who knows? I don't want to take any damage with Sky Return, so this is just going to be an Eruption Shot and Hope, so... Colossal V and Expanded is kind of like Colossal V and Standard. You just, you just hope. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of hoping with that Eruption Shot. I mean, these three scoop up now, that's just kind of sad, but... Yeah, just getting four energy on Colossal VMAX, I have found that even in Expanded, using GMAX Boulder is just, it's not realistic. 
What is realistic, though, okay, this is, I don't know what this is, but what is realistic is just using eruption shot over and over again, maybe use Rotom Phone in combination with the Ranguru. I tried the Makardo, you know, in Japan, Makardo was big, and Makardo just lets you put a card on top of your deck, and that's amazing, so maybe I cut a Ranguru. I don't know. So many ideas with this deck, but I've just been so underwhelmed so far, and... Hey, if I had, uh, I mean, I can put a scoop up net on top of my deck and just get rid of the scoop up net, but let's hope. Come on. I got rid of my Jirachi Prism. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The one card in the deck that would never go to my discard pile is the top deck. I was like, okay, well, I could put a scoop up net. I don't need a scoop up net. I can discard that. Nope, it's Jirachi Prism. Okay. Well, that... Uh, oh, they're playing my Shedinja deck. Okay, but they're... Oh, they're using the Shaman, though. And they're not playing my Shedinja deck. They're playing their own. But I think... I think a lot of people, you know, have just sort of got rid of Shaman. You know, it's, it's banned on the 27th. Why bother continuing to play it? But then it's like, well, if other people are playing it, then I kind of have to play it because it's better than Crobat and it's better than Dedenny. So it's, it just creates this weird situation where you have to, where you have to play it, but I don't. So maybe the deck would be better, but if I if I built Colossal Vmax today with Shaman, then in a week and a half, if you're watching this video, you can't play it. So it just it puts me in a weird position because I can't play the best version of this deck at the time I'm filming it, and I'm gonna have 10 HP left. Okay, so I have max potion. If I can just get something that's good. And yeah, I don't have my abilities, so yep. Okay, let's just take a. Oh, that's a that's a big knockout right there. So yeah, they don't have abilities. Maybe you know Shedinja. I really like Shedinja. If you watch my video, you know how much I like it. When it works, it is amazing. It's a false swipe attack. Uh, they do know they're weak to fighting, right? Okay, well, there's no reason to put an energy on it, so I'll just eruption shot, take a knockout, and there's... I think I added a super rod. I've played so many different versions of this deck, I think I put a super rod in here. So super rod helps you get back, or it might have been an ordinary rod, and there's the knockout. And I don't have a backup attacker. Okay, so... Do I just start attaching to a Rangaroo and hoping? That'd be pretty funny, but I do have... Well, the baby Buzzwool is kind of useless at this point. Sure, I can scoop it back up if I change my mind. And there's a switch, so yes, let's scoop it up. I really don't want to be attaching to a Rangaroo, but I. what other options do I have? I can deal 70 damage, that knocks out a Shedinja. They don't have a backup attacker. Uh, if they... Okay, I was going to say, if they don't have their rescue stretchers, I'm totally fine. But... This is this is just the kind of luck I've been having with with the deck. I didn't think I was facing garb, you know. But I I'm I'm willing to admit that I was wrong about Colossal Vmax. That's pretty good, I think. You know, I, I was wrong. And they're taking two prizes. They're just drawn like crazy. And they'll put me down to a single health. That's bad. And there's a Colossal VMAX just adding to, add an insult to injury here. So, again, I think you should just cut away all the all the, all the the useless crap in this deck. Just go for a 4-4 Colossal V, Colossal VMAX. Maybe put like 4 Orangaroo in here. Just go for something that is consistent. 4 Orangaroo, maybe a Skyfield or something. And I can't... Oh, man... So it has to be a fighting Pokemon. So with stone energy, you can just attach to it and let's 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 spice it up a little bit. I know I could have, you know, stalled it out, but I mean, come on. It's so much fun to scoop up that and lose. I'm glad I lost to Shedinja. Let's try and get a win now. And this is quite the starting hand, so if I think I'm gonna draw into something good, I would put Colossal V up front. But since I don't know what is gonna happen, I just gotta do that. There's a Pokecom, I could. Well, if I just had the Pokecom to start things off, 
I would have been much happier. They got the Dangdar Mimic Mew, so this is Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, I think they, they would have a way to one-shot me, but the problem is they might have the Glaceon Jolteon EX combination, and I would have to bounce between them. I don't play the Surfetch, not that Surfetch can knock out a Mewtwo and Mew. So I'm in a position where I just hope that they put down enough Pokemon that aren't Mewtwo and Mew where I can win. But if nothing else, this video has at least shown you how good Shedinja can be. When Shedinja faces anything that's not a single prize deck, it has a good chance. I was worried my opponent wasn't there. But if Shedinja faces anything that gives up two or more prizes, it is it just has a great chance. You are in every single game because Hypnotoxic Laser paired with False Swipe is so good. You have Dimension Valley. Uh, unlike a deck like my deck, you want your abilities shut off. My deck, if my abilities get shut off, what am I doing? I can't, I can't use Diancy. I can't use a Ranguru, I can't use Crobat. Obviously the big one there is a Ranguru. But I had to, that's the reason there's two Field Blower. My first ever game with Colossal and Expanded was Ultra Necrozma Gar. They, I Field Blowered their first one, and that was fine, and I was doing really well. And then they, I think they end me, they shut off my abilities, and then I just did nothing for like four turns and they won. So I put two Field Blower in here, and then of course I face, you know, not Garb decks, or when I face a Garb deck, I don't get my abilities, it's just... Expanded is not a kind place to a deck like this, and they're playing the Shaman too. So maybe I should take a break from Expanded, but I just I have some ideas for Expanded that I want to try out. Uh, maybe I should play Shaman. Let me know in the comments. Should I play Shaman for this last week of it of its being legal, or should I just not? Uh, they're probably gonna go for a Poltergeist. So they can't use Venom Shot, so they might just go for Poltergeist. I, I honestly didn't think there was any chance they were going to get it, but then they popped two Max Elixirs on me. Uh, maybe they'll use Horror House. There's another Max Elixir. Please tell me they don't get it. They got it. Well, actually, they can use Venom Shot because they have Dimension Valley. So they can do 170 to my Colossal. Okay, are they just hoping that I have five in my hand? There's a scoop of... Wow, they're... See, this is why Shaman is getting banned. This is exactly why Shaman is getting banned. It pairs with Scoop Up Net. You can just draw a million cards per turn. I will heal my dude up. That's a dojo. That doesn't really help me now. Uh, sure. So we'll do Max Potion. And yeah, sure, go ahead. So I know this is just a really unfortunate game, but I'm going to try for one more turn and we'll see what happens. And they use Night Watch, they got rid of everything, that is just unfortunate, and I lose. Well, this is quite the starting hand, so I'm going second, so that's good. I do have Mr. Mime, so I think I'll just put the Mr. Mime, the deck plays scoop up net. But the more I use this combination, hey it's a dark deck, that's good. The more I use this combination with Mr. Mime and Jirachi and Scoop Up Net, I think the deck would just be so much better. Hey, that's a thing. Okay, so if I comp search the Colossal and the Lysander, then I can just do a whole bunch of things. So don't screw me over and tell me that all my Colossal Vmax are surprised. Okay, so there's Colossal V, that's good. My dudes aren't prized, I play Ordinary Rod. This is great. And I'll talk a little bit about my reasoning for... Uh, do I want to play... The... No, let's, let, let's let it ride. The reason I play the Buzzwool... Okay, so that's fine. Not wonderful, but I'll do that. So the reason I play the Baby Buzzwool is, yes, if they knock out a VMAX, they go down to three prizes and then it's useless. But if I'm in a situation like this where I'm going second, and, you know, I'm going second, they have a great start, Hey, there's Tapu Lele. Get ready to see that go up in uh, usage once Shaman's gone as well. But if they knock out a Colossal V, they just take a, a quick, cheap knockout on a Colossal V, then they go down to four prizes, and then I can use a Buzzwool. And, well, actually, now, now that I think about it, maybe it's just useless. I play four Focus Sash. It's way too many, so that's totally fine. Uh, I, play the, I play four Focus Sash on a 330 HP Pokemon. 
I just, I, I thought before I tried it out that it would be the most insane combination ever. People would just go crazy for this deck. And then I started playing it and it's like, no one's doing 330 damage consistently. Like this Snorlax VMAX, that's not doing 330 damage consistently. Yes, you can do a ton of damage with it, but can you one shot a Colossal VMAX? The answer is no. Uh, so I think buff padding is the right call. I put a Hustle Belt in here. Yes. I put a Hustle Belt because I figured, oh, Focus Sash, it puts you down to 10 HP left, and then it discards itself. So then the next turn, you put on the Hustle Belt, and all of a sudden Eruption Shot does, what, 100 base damage? And then if you have a, a, a Strong Energy, 120 base damage. If you have Martial Arts Dojo, even more. And there goes my Mr. Mime. Okay, so I'll put that there. I will, I guess I'll attach the strong energy. Hey, there's a Colossal VMAX. There we go. I'll attach the strong energy, because why not? I know it reduces my chances of getting an energy, such as what happened right here. But you are going to see where my genius comes into play. Okay, so I'll put the Martial Arts Dojo down. I'm doing 60 base damage, and then 40, so I'm doing 100. I'm 10 short. Okay, disregard my genius. Okay, so I can't, I can put some on top of my deck and then rearrange my deck. I can great catcher the Lele, that would be stupid. So I can, sure, I can do that. I will put the great catcher on top. There's a Pokecom. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. All right, so the air turned on, so if you can hear something in the background, that's just the air. I just went to turn it off. So I used Crobat, I scooped up the Orangaroo, I used Pokecom. So this is sort of what I wanted to have happen, and also nothing like what I wanted to have happen. I will shuffle two, put those back in. I will have to lose my Colossal V, that's fine. And my opponent conceded, so that's bad. Let's see if we can go to one more game. And I, oh, this is insane. Oh man, you have a good deck, Colossal versus Colossal. Okay, so I, I have no idea what build they're playing. So this is just gonna be sort of a, a wait and see scenario. I will get an Orangaroo. I will put, I guess the Cynthia on top of the deck in case they Marnie me. And I will just prepare for next turn. This is gonna be hilarious. There's Colossal VMAX. Oh man, this is this is the dream here. And yeah, the previous game, I imagine my opponent just didn't have it and they knew I was digging for, you know, a little bit more of a knockout. And once I did that, they were going to be in trouble. Oh, please don't tell me you don't have it. I mean, come on, I'm barely doing any damage. You know the downsides of this deck. Just keep it going. Yes. All right. Let's play this game. Let's have some fun. This is the perfect way to end the game. Oh, they play Octillery. Okay, that's something I didn't think of. I always forget about Octillery. It's a really good card, and they play the Stone Energy. Okay. So I'll just Cynthia, and there we go. I mean, Focus Sash. Again, Focus Sash, completely useless. What the freaking heck? I'm not going to be able to do anything. Uh, sure, let's put the Marnie down. This is This is just sad. Okay, I can rearrange my deck now. Uh, I can stoop up net. I don't need Focus Sash ever. I mean, I could put it on Diancie to just stop them from taking a, a knockout, but think, I mean, how badly do I want to do maximum damage? I think I really badly want to do maximum damage. So I have another Colossal VMAX. I have Crobat. I think I Crobat because I want to try and hold on to some of these cards, so I will scoop up the Orangaroo, have that as an option, and come on, just give me an energy, Crobat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I would have had an energy. What is, what is this? Come on. All right, so I'm threatening a G-Max Boulder. They cannot knock me out because Colossal V-Max is not that powerful. Going first in VMAX versus VMAX matchups is huge, and there's Artillery, and they play the Max Potion. Okay, good. So they're playing Max Potion, and then, I mean, if I just G-Max Boulder twice, that's fine, but I think if they leave a Colossal V, do I knock it out, or do I just try and focus all my... No, no. 100%, 
I go after the Colossal V because, hmm, or do I go after the Oranguru? Because I know how important knocking out an Oranguru can be. So do I go after the Colossal? Okay, well, first off, let's go get a little Colossal V. And I have a scoop of net. I could, I can't do the Mr. Mime Jirachi combo yet. And this is another thing. My bench is just going to be way too jammed. So I think I knock that out, or do I knock out the Oranguru? Because they can't stack their deck if I knock out the Oranguru, but I can take a knockout and not have to worry about Eruption Shot if I knock out the Colossal V. So I think that's what I do. I will... Sure, I mean, I'm losing it anyway, right? I may as well just put the N on top. There's a Field Blower, that's cool. Bring up the Oranguru. And I looked, I'm basically seven cards getting off this. And there we go. So do I need the strong energy? Uh, so I can do 260. If I'm ever behind on prizes, that's good. But no, I think I want to save that. And I will Primate Wisdom. Eh, let's just, let's just use G-Max Boulder. So I mean, I could have put the strong energy and then just said at a certain point, I'm going to do 340. Right? Or 330? Or 340, because that's the way the math works. But it would have to be Dojo. I mean, I, I could knock you out of Colossal VMAX, I think. Because it does 240 base damage, and then if I have 4 strong energy, that is 320, and then I put the Martial Arts Dojo down, that is an extra 10 damage. But I would have to... The attacks that have any... Yeah, so I would have to have at least 5 energy on the Colossal VMAX, and one of them would have to be a basic fighting energy... I only play two strong energy in the deck, so that's a that's another thing you might want to change. I was just I was thinking too much about martial arts dojo and not enough about stone energy and strong energy. Oh man, well that uh, that's unfortunate. But again, I think you've seen the problem with colossal. You saw two different builds. You saw an artillery build. This is probably going to be a short video. I'm sure I'll revisit colossal Vmax in the future. Hopefully. Well, I mean, the next six months, there's not going to be a real new set for the Pokemon TCG. It's just a collector set with, I think, 13 new cards. So it's going to be, once Shaman's gone, Expanded changes mightily. And maybe I'll revisit it then, and maybe it'll be with ADP. Let me know your, you know, your thoughts on the deck. I think maybe Acerola and Max Potion are the huge cards here, and you just focus on Eruption Shot, and you just deny your opponent prizes. You don't worry about... The Mr. Mime and the Jirachi and, and all that stuff that you don't have room for. You cut the Buzzwool. Uh, I think you go for like uh, Rotom Bike and Bicycle. Just don't worry about all these things that aren't Oranguru and Colossal. Cut out everything. Make sure your Pokemon don't get knocked out. Use Buff Padding. Use Stone Energy. Use Fighting Energy or uh, Strong Energy. Use Martial Arts Dojo. Cut out all the rest. Just make sure your Colossal VMAX doesn't get knocked out and expanded and it should be good. I went a little too crazy. Yeah, I admit that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Let me know your thoughts on the deck. I'll see you next time.